Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the important concept in discrete mathematics is inference rules using quantifiers. So in that concept we have to solve one example problem. The given problem is prove or disprove the validity of the following argument using quantified propositions. Okay, here so these are the propositions that we are given. So first three are the given propositions and the last one is nothing but conclusion. We have to prove that these three given propositions derive this conclusion or not. Suppose these three propositions derives this conclusion, we can say that it is a valid conclusion. Otherwise, we can say that it is an invalid conclusion. So here, these three statements also contains the quantifiers. Okay, so we can say that these three statements or propositions are called as quantified propositions. So each and every proposition has either universal quantifier or a existential quantifier. Okay, we have to prove that these three given propositions derive this conclusion or not. Okay. First, we have to write the propositions in terms of predicates. Okay. First one is every living thing is a plant or an animal. Okay. Here, every living thing can be taken as X. Okay. So, every living thing can be considered as X. X maybe is a plant or it may be an animal. Suppose x is a plant, then it can be written as p of x. Where x is a subject, is a plant, is a predicate. So here first we have to write the predicate. Within the parenthesis, we have to write the subject. Next, x may be an animal. So suppose x is an animal, x is the subject, is an animal is the predicate then it can be represented as a of x next one david's dog is a u here x is living thing x is the subject in the place of subject x we have to write david's dog is a u okay here the subject name is given the subject name x is David's dog and it is not a plant. Okay, so this can be written as that means David's dog is not a plant. David's dog is not a plant. So David's dog can be written as only D. Here there is no predicate, only subject is there. Next one, all animals have hearts. That means each and every animal can be treated as X. X has heart. So X has heart. So X is the subject. Has heart is the predicate. Then it can be written as H of X. Now, so once we are getting all the, uh, all the propositions within these, uh, within these sentences can be represented in terms of predicates, then these statements can be represented in the form of, in the symbolic form using quantifiers. Okay. The first one is, every living thing is a plant or an animal. So that means, every living thing is X. X is a plant, can be written as P of X. X is an animal can be written as A of X. Next one. Every living thing is a plant 
वर आर एन एनिमल ओके सो इन बिटवीन देम वी हैव टू राइट आर कनेक्टिव सो हियर आर कनेक्टिव हियर एवरी एवरी इज नथिंग बट यूनिवर्सल क्वांटिफायर सो हियर वी हैव टू राइट यूनिवर्सल क्वांटिफायर ओके सो दिस मींस एवरी लिविंग थिंग इज अ प्लांट वर आर एन एनिमल नेक्स्ट वन सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज David's dog is a new. Here, David's dog is subject. So here it is a new, and it is not a plant. So this entire statement represents only a single single predicate. Okay, David's dog is a new. That means X is a new. In the place of X, David's dog is present. Okay. so and it is not a plant that means david's dog is not a plant so david's dog is nothing but a d so david's dog is not a plant can be written as p of d here d is nothing but david's dog david's dog is not a plant is not a plant means we have to write negation next all animals have hearts okay this meaning is if x is a animal then it has a heart so this statement can be written as if x is an animal then it has a heart that can be written as if x is a animal can be written as a of x then it has a heart it can be written as h of x every every animal every animal has a heart so that can be written as for all x a of x tends to h of x okay if x is an animal then it has a heart every x is a animal then it has a heart that is the meaning of this one so then what is the conclusion here the conclusion is david's dog has a heart here david's dog is a subject that can be denoted by d has a heart has a heart means so that is a h of x in the place of x we have to write david's dog so that means d has a heart d has a heart can be written as h of d h of d so this is the conclusion so these are the given premises and this is the conclusion okay so this is a conclusion so the given premises are the given premises are first one is for all x p of x or a of x second one is negation p of d third one is for all x a of x conditional h of x if x is a animal then it has a heart it belongs to every animal so that for all we have to write so these are the given premises the conclusion is h of d now from the given these given premises derives this conclusion we can say that this is a valid conclusion otherwise it becomes a invalid conclusion okay so now we can go to this uh, derivation in that derivation first i am taking first step in the derivation and the first premise i am taking is this one for all x p of x or a of x this premise is introduced into the derivation by using rule p okay 
this premise is introduced into the derivation using rule p next one next i am taking this premise that is the second step and the second premise in the derivation is p of d is introduced into the derivation by using rule p okay now we have to apply any identity uh, implication formulas first we have to eliminate the quantifier okay so once we are eliminating the quantifier here the subject name can also be changed okay now to eliminate the quantifier at the first premise we have to use rule us rule us is used for eliminating the universal quantifier so here i am writing rule us applied on first statement after eliminating the universal quantifier we are getting this variable this subject name can be replaced as d p of d or a of d so here i am applying first statement that is the third step in the derivation okay so from these two steps we have any new implication formula we are getting or not so according to according to rule t applied on 2 3 and i10 so what is i10 so here rule t is applied on second and third step this is the second step and the third step what is the implication formula we are applying i10 formula what is i10 formula here the i10 formula is so negation p p or q okay so then from this one we are getting q this is the i10 formula negation p comma p or q then we are getting q okay here p or q this one this is negation p here the subject names is also same okay after applying the i10 formula on these two steps we are getting a of d a of d okay so here this step applied on 1 and 2 this is the fourth step in the derivation okay next next rule t applied on these two steps 2 and 3 steps and apply the implication formula i10 here the i10 formula is so negation p comma p or q then we are getting q this is the i10 formula next next this premise is introduced into the derivation by using rule p that is for all x a of x conditional h of x this premise is introduced into the derivation by using rule p so this is a fifth step in the derivation and this is also fifth step okay now we have to eliminate the universal quantifier to apply any implication formula so that on the fifth step we are applying rule us so rule us is used for eliminating the universal quantifier on the fifth step so after eliminating the universal quantifier so this subject name is also changed then we are getting so a of d tends to h of d okay from this two steps 4 and 6 we are applying so i11 formula so what is i11 formula i11 formula is p comma p conditional q so then we are getting q 
so this is the i11 formula okay so here this step and this step that is a uh, 1 2 and 5 so after combining 1 2 5 that is the next step in the derivation is a 7 so we are applying a rule t applied on which step fourth step and a sixth step four a six and i11 and i11 okay so this is p and this is p and this is q p comma p conditional q then we are getting q in the place of q we are getting h of d h of d okay so finally we are getting h of d we are using all the three premises then we are deriving the conclusion h of d okay h of d is nothing but d is nothing but david's dog has a heart heart is nothing but h h is a predicate and subject is a d david's dog has a heart okay so therefore h of d is a valid conclusion h of d is a valid conclusion h of d is a valid conclusion we can say that these three quantified propositions derives the conclusion that conclusion is valid hence we can say that the given problem is a valid conclusion okay so in this way we have to prove that the given propositions derives a conclusion that conclusion is a valid because we have to get the valid conclusions after applying rule p rule t and rule us and i10 and i11 implication formulas in this way we have to solve any problem first the given statements can be written in terms of predicates after that by using these predicates we have to convert these three four given quantified propositions in symbolic form after that we have to apply the inference rules for deriving the conclusion is valid or not okay so these quantified propositions derives this conclusion hence we can say that it is a valid conclusion so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will clarify your doubts thank you thank you one and all for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel so Divvela Srinivasarao. This problem is somewhat tricky. Please observe carefully. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.